As a man is released from prison after serving a 10 year sentence for the murder of an elderly woman and the attempted murder of his own mother, he acknowledges that the urge to kill is irresistible, methodically planning the next string of killings, hiding out within a spacious home he believes to be empty, secluded from prying eyes by trees and a park. His next victims return back home, walking straight into his grasp. This is Gerald Cargill's angst, alternatively known as fear, and even schizophrenia, a psychological slasher horror film intent on detailing the most minute movements, mistakes, and plans of a serial killer, providing voiceover insights into his motivations and traumas. Angst has a stark direction that is incredibly cold, calculating, and intentionally dehumanising, contributing to the film's undeniably influential intensity, an intensity that has even inspired the works of psychedelic arthouse maverick Gaspar Noé. One of the most visually striking aspects of Angst is its incredible cinematography. The film's phenomenally responsive cinematography includes ambitious overhead camera movements and crane shots, which trail voyeuristically behind the killer's every movement. Actor-mounted camera shots, which fixate on the erratic facial expressions of the killer, and impressive steadicam movements, allowing the film to be truly immersive. The influence of Angst is very apparent on filmmakers such as Gaspar Noé, as Angst's trailing, voyeuristic tracking shots and violent voiceover have inspired I Stand Alone. The ease of the camera's flailing is found within Irreversible, and the ambition of the overhead crane shots which float unnaturally above the killer is replicated on a fantastical spiritual level within Enter the Void. It's very clear that director Gerald Cargill and cinematographer Zbigniew Rybczynski collaborated together with a great technical master of their craft, keeping their pacing snappy, and the cinematography immersive and refreshing, replicating the unpredictability of the killer's own actions. Angst may seem simple on the surface, a killer released from prison targets a family, killing them one by one, a premise that has been explored before and afterwards in horror, but the film also expresses an interest in studying a truly detestable figure. The killer's own voiceover reveals insights into his own background, his own motivations, current emotions, and future future plans. Abused and neglected by his own mother, who never wished to have a son, the killer lacks a control over himself, his urge to kill strongly reinforced by sexual arousal, each kill leading to a burst of short-lived gratification until he feels the urge to kill once again. Suspenseful sequences linger for the sight, as the viewer hears despicable actions recollected from the killer's sordid past, murder, assault, and even jealously incestual motivated violence towards his own sister. This is a figure we are not meant to enjoy our time observing. Angst is intent on almost humanising this figure, openly depicting his mistakes, awkward fumbles, and unregulated, irrational rage sourced from childhood traumas and neglect, transforming it into a sensory overload. Almost as an emphasis of the killer's own cold perspective, the victims within Angst feel dehumanised, each kill serving the killer's own brutal gratification, while the victims struggle to escape from the malevolent clutches of the killer, an understandably human reaction. There is no attempt on the killer's behalf to connect or empathise. From the release from prison, he was intent on causing harm. The frequent appearance of a dachshund, the family dog, who often quietly observes, seemingly serves as a stand-in for the audience, a passive observer viewing every action with no ability to change these horrific circumstances, allowed to quietly watch for as long as the killer allows it. Angst as a film does not intend to excuse the violent behaviours depicted, despite how grisly they become, but aims to show that yes, even the most feared of monsters are truly human. In conclusion, Gerald Cargill's Angst provides a frightening glimpse into a terribly realistic humanisation of a serial killer, making no effort to gloss over clear mistakes and loss of control. With the immersive cinematography of Zbigniew Rybczynski and Cargill's own skill of pacing, Angst drips with dreadful suspense, from the release of its protagonist murderer from prison to the film's very final shot. Filled with a constant stream of unease, angst is essential viewing for anybody seeking brilliant, discomforting cinema. A special thank you to my incredible tier Patreon supporter Gil and my super tier Patreon supporters Constantine Bombelli and Victoria.